Welcome to Big D, Dallas, Texas, and the house the Pony Express built. Dickerson and James and SMU hoping to restore the glory and get things started in this one. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake, as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the BYU Cougars, taking on a team from the ACC, the SMU Mustangs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here at the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Mustangs will kick it away to start us off. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. First down here for the offense. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Give to the back. Makes the stop at the 33, but it's a 15-yard gain. When you go on the road, man, oh, man, do you love hearing the crowd. But more importantly, you love shutting the crowd up. There's no better feeling than coming out, getting that juice going, getting that confidence going, and getting that running game going right at them and gashing them right out the gates. They'll throw it on first down. He finds his man, breaks the tackle. At the 45 on his way. And he breaks into the open. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, BYU! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a huge play in the passing game, covering 67 yards to the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here's the return from inside his 10. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the offense on first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Finds a tight end. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. As a defense, it's so hard covering this guy. Because of his frame, you're not really going to match up. But this guy's also got some wheels. The hard part is bringing him down after the catch. This guy's like a giant giraffe. You're just lions hanging on his neck trying to drag him to the ground. Not easy to do. They'll go to the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Got three on first down at second and seven. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Listen, I know that's not a huge gain, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. 
in the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. The Mustangs are moving quickly down the field. The inside handoff. Running like he wants that football as he gets to the 37. Yes, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yardage situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Out of the gun to give to the back. Across the 25, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And the Mustangs in the hurry up. Right back to the well. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He'll pull it on the read. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat, and they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Boy, they love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. To throw, it's Stone. Fires into the end zone, and it's caught! Touchdown, SMU! start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Hit that one with some aggression for the point out. They go 83 yards on the drive, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you've played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Flushed out of the pocket. Going to try to get it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Roberts. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, running back on the move. 
That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. They'll run play action. Going up top. Makes the grab inside the 30. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. BYU right back to the line. Trying to find his man on first down. Got his man on the right. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And when this quarterback is in a rhythm, this offense is really hard to stop. You've seen that on this drive. He's three for three, but they're also running the ball well. Everything they're dialing up right now is working. After coming up with back-to-back -back explosive plays, here they are first and goal. He'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Cougar. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst. And he showed all of those attributes right there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards, and it was capped off with the eight-yard run. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Catch in the middle, it's Bailey. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. When you get man coverage, you definitely like taking advantage of the inside really quickly. Running a nice slant rack real quick. Being physical, getting on the inside, quarterback putting it right on the money. That completion leaves us with second and medium. They move the tight end all over. Power football with the run. Good, solid pickup on that one. They got it out to the 40, and it's first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. They're getting this guy lathered up. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Quarterback on the keeper. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You go with the option. Quarterback keeps it himself. And look, we've seen this guy on tape, guys, break these tackles and take it the distance. This offense should keep dialing up these option plays. Don't let that short gain by the QB prevent you from running this scheme in your playbook. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up.
The Mustangs line up to punt it away. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Man, that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Out of the gun, the inside get. Punches ahead. They'll give him a yard to the 13. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He's got him on the right side. Great job by the receiver to get the foot down. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And the Cougars want to crank the tempo. Got his man quickly. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I, mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him. And just, yeah, you know what? Let his talent do the rest. Looking to throw on third. It's caught downfield. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. BYU has this offense clicking. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They'll give it to the back. Tackled at the 31. They'll give him six on the play. Ooh, and I love the running back here. Running into the blitz, he saw the extra defender. He was able to put his foot in the ground and make a miss. That was a good play. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot. Right in the hands. Great play. You still get a pass break up. But, man, that could have been an interception by the defender there. Nice break on the football, but secure that big fellow. Get the six. Get the pick six. He's looking to pass. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And they knock him down, but he got past the line the game. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. BYU coming to the line with first and ten. Running it to the right. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. He's 
He's got his man. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. BYU now into the red zone. He'll throw on third down. Makes the catch along the sideline. Just picked up a few, but enough for a first down. Well, this defense now is just getting gashed. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you might now want to think about being aggressive, changing up your play calls, and maybe breaking your own tendencies because you have got to stop this offense just marching down the field. Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, he'll fire. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, BYU! BYU. That dude's really big. How in the world did they lose him? Because down here, he does a lot of blocking, and you play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And what do you do? You peek in the backfield, and you lose the big fella. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy, but he lost the race. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the move from inside his five. Bust through behind his pass. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Off play action on first down. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Here on third down for this offense. Back to pass, it's Stone. Quickly complete. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. And the Mustangs headed quickly to the line. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead. From the run How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. 
The Mustangs get it past the sticks. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. And the Mustangs are marching down the field. Wide out in motion. They're going to ride this running back. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. But how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carrier? After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Back to throw. It's Stone. Safe completion on the screen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them. But exactly, get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Quarterbacks talk about it all the time. They love the clean pocket where they can step up, throw the football. That is not what they had. Nice job by the defense, beating the offensive line, disrupting the timing, and getting a nice clean hit on the quarterback. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. Gives it to the back on the draw. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's green. Brought down at the 31 after a pickup of 10 yards on that one. Well, this offense told us coming in, they were going to challenge this secondary early and often. They were going to use their speed to their advantage and take advantage of this quarterback's touch and arm talent. And they already in the second quarter, they've got over 200 yards thrown. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the left. And that defensive penetration gave him no chance, and he is ridden out of bounds. I get it. It wasn't going to be a positive play. You weren't going to get a lot of yards, but I'd love to see you stick it up in there and hit somebody and finish the play with some physicality and at least pick up one or two. As long as you don't lose the football. That's the, it's already a bad play. Just don't make things worse. Coach Rick used to say, don't turn a bad play into a catastrophe. They'll run the screen. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. And I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. Man, David, that last drive, an exercise in frustration, just couldn't pay it off with the score. Yeah, and I think this defense is riding the bend, but don't break philosophy. Don't give up explosive plays. This offense, Jesse, has to find a way to manufacture some big plays and some scoring opportunities. Man, I don't know if they're going to win, David, if they have to keep driving 8, 10, 12 plays. You're right. you got to find chunk plays somewhere. So identify the guys that can score touchdowns and get them the ball. Hand off from the shotgun. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23.
They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. It's complete! And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. So, Jesse, they're able to connect on the crossing route against the zone. You run that pattern against that coverage. What do you have to keep in mind? Well, the receiver needs to know where the soft spot is in the defense so he can gear himself down. And the quarterback, Reese, has to play with great timing. Because if he's too early or too late on the throw, that might get picked. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Picks up the first down. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. The Mustangs come to the line with a new set of downs. The aerial assault continues. Working the middle, it's complete. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. And the Mustangs look to do some damage in the red zone. Looking to throw, it's Stone. He wants it all. And that one is picked off in the end zone. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty, and it's a turnover. And that's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. They've been outstanding here in this first half. Might as well try for the knockout punch, David. Yeah, confidence has to be at an all-time high. Great first half. I'm going to get more. I'm not scared with the lead when I got the football lead. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You can see the quarterback's body language. He wants to go. He wants to go tempo. He wants to take shots. They're trying to light this scoreboard up. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. Second down coming up. Takes the handoff. It's Martin. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They'll leave it with him. Pass the first down marker and still running. He's loose. The 40. The 20. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Cougar! Man, it's easy to call plays when I got guys like this who can take the ball and rip it 70-plus to the house. How about the speed? He showed you a little bit of wiggle. This dude's got it all. Nice touchdown run by the running back. Lining up for the PAT. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28-7. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. 
line. And they finished by proving that when you think you've got them pinned down, you don't. A 97-yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. Sets a kickoff. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Got his man downfield. And they'll do more than move the chain. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Deep shot for the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on his many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. Looking to throw at Stone. Getting some heat. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking to go up top on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Already find a hole in that secondary. He's run out of bounds after the big gate, and they are in business first and goal. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. Looking for the score. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Mustang! It's hard for a defense to have to cover so much space. When the offense goes empty, you get receivers and tight ends and running backs lined up out wide. You've got to expand, and it's harder to cover on the back end. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 28-14. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And with time running out here in the first half, this offense will choose to take a knee. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the open runway ahead. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, that's why this running game can be so dynamic. This guy is special when he has the football in his hands. He can make people miss, he can run with power, and he also has speed. You saw it on that last play. The Mustangs moving quickly to the line. He'll do it himself. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. 
And, David, this defense just has their hands full. There's so many different weapons on the other side of the field that can hurt you, right? It's not just running backs. It's not just wide receivers and tight ends. This quarterback is a major threat when he decides to take off and go. And, and it just makes me pause. It, it makes me slow down a little bit when I start to get upfield because I got to stop and worry about the running back, and now I got to worry about the quarterback run. So much to look at. It takes a lot of discipline to stop these design quarterback runs. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Here's the handoff. Nice move there. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre snap to post snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion, setting up fourth. So now on comes the field goal unit. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And he'll bring it back. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. I know they've put up really good numbers on offense, but David, they're starting to feel a little game pressure right now. Exactly. That scoreboard's starting to get a little bit tired cut into that lead. Now, you know every possession matters, Palmer. A little pressure for this offense. Yeah, so you can't get tight, right? The best players on this offense now need to step up and they need to start making plays. You gotta identify where those one-on-ones are. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. He's right on target. How about that weight room work? He's showing off there as he gets across the 20. He'll mark it at the 22. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. But jet sweep pass shakes off the defender. He's out past the 35. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. BYU lines up quickly. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got his man in the middle. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. Using his legs, it's Martin. Got enough for the first. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. 
The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the spot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. They've hit him with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, BYU! BYU. Well, let's count them up. One, two, three. Three is the magic number for touchdowns. Yeah, it's as easy as ABC. Goodness gracious, he's been getting whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. I might want to change something up or maybe focus on that guy that's getting the football a lot and scoring. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So a drive there of 85 yards, and he got into the house from the six to finish it. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Set to advance on the football. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Unloads quickly. Out across the 30 to the 39 after getting 10 on that one. And uh, first down for the offense. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Motion from the offense. Looking for a man. It's Stone. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they won't make the connection. Looking to make a big play there. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. He's looking for an open man on second down. Quick strike complete. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. To the air on first down. Pulls it in. It's Bailey. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. And that's another first down. And the Mustangs getting set on first and 10. Handoff from the gun. <laughs> We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Right back to the well. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Give to the running back. 
just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 22. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. Pressure coming. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. After missing the connection last time, it's second and 10 from the 22. Back to pass, it's Stone. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, SMU! And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they now trail 35-24. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. They've cut into this lead. It's down to 11 as they're set to kick it away. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Fires to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. The quick out. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Nice pitch and catch there from QB to wide receiver. Great job. An out route is all about timing. One, two, three, boom. Break out, throw it to him right now. Great pitch, great catch. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. He wants to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Martin. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. You might just think that dude's a power back, but what a great job coming out of the backfield, become a wide receiver, and then guess what? When he gets in the open field, that's not a lot of fun to try to bring to the ground. That's a big boy. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. They want to just keep throwing it. Gets it out fast. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working, though. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. The Cougars look to keep this drive humming. Looking for room. It's Martin. That's a big stop for the defense. That running back has had so much success. You're down in the football game. You need to get the ball back to your offense. Create a play like this. This will get the fires going, get the juices going. Now we've got to go get a few more. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12.
From the gun, running back gets to give. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man on the right. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office, being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but has held really strong, put up some good numbers. Leaves it with the back. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Wants to fire on second down. Gets it out quickly. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your in-field goal range. What do you do here? And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. That makes the score. BYU, 38. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills, and they've got it at the receiver position. So if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. The Mustangs get enough to move the chain. Yeah, in this offense, listen, we're in fourth field, right? We got, we got to score a bunch of points here. We're down. We're trailing. We got to go fast, but we also got to get first downs. And that's a nice job sneaking in the run, getting the first down, and now we crank the tempo back up. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Back to throw, it's Stone. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the middle. Makes a connection. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. 
trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. And the Mustangs racing to the line in the hurry up. He leaves it with his back. Bring in the heat. He picks up the first down, brought down, but not before he put that dude in a blender. It's another first down for the offense. The Mustangs will have it first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the middle. He's got it. And he will score! Touchdown, Mustangs! Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched family. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? You can just feel that right now. Just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team, they're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They march 79 yards on the drive, and the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. A quick pass to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive, too. It's what got them to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Those are the kind of plays in the second half you have to make. This back has had plenty of success. He's gotten a lot of touches. Now, defensively, we've got to show them things are about to be different. BYU will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play just outside the 20. Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Using the quick game. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. On first down, here comes this offense. He'll keep it himself. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. No, I really like how this offense uses the QB in the running game because he might not be the fastest quarterback in college football, but he's got just enough that you have to respect him and you have to account for him defensively. The give out of the gun. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he's brought down after a nice game. 
And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still you cannot stop them? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. That's caught. It's Hudson. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. Here is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll pull it on the read. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. And this option attack can blow you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. It's a draw. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. They'll ride the hot hand. Knocked down after a pickup of six, and they're trying to impose their will in the red zone. Balls at the 13. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Looking downfield, it's Stone. Quickly complete. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. Wide receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Touchdown, SMU! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being hard. No shot. They have no idea how to get this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Right, and he up to add another. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. So a drive there of 82 yards. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. Going up top on first down. Got his man quickly. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game.
Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. From the gun, the running back has it. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Buying some time. He'll try to do it himself. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. It's the fourth quarter. Every second counts, right? You're, it's a one-possession game. We're chasing the QB. He scrambles around, does such a great job getting positive yards, keeping this drive alive. We need to score badly. We've got to keep drives alive like this. Wonderful job. Comes out throwing on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Roberts. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you can tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for us. Looking to throw on second down. Pulls it in. It's Hill. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, fighting a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks at a more manageable situation and I'm not as predictable on a third down. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. They'll try to get the first through the air. Quick strike complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. They'll go hurry up here. Wants to throw on first down. He makes the catch close to the sticks, but he'll be a little short of the first down. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he's always open. And right there, nice job fitting that football into a small space and great awareness by the receiver getting his feet down and bounce. He wants to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's green. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Fires to the wide out. He just missed the target on that one. Got to put it on his body. Got to give this defense a lot of credit because even down to the last seconds of this football game, we're seeing outstanding effort. QB taking a shot down the middle of the field. There's a defender swatting it away. They have had this quarterback's number all game long, and that's why they're winning this game. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Grabs it in the middle. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. He's got it! The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. If you like the stats, and I know you do, he's over 400 yards passing now. Yeah, if they win this game, he's getting a game ball. There's no doubt about it. This guy has been on fire from the very start of this football game. He's been throwing bullets all over the field. The defense calls the timeout their second of the day as they try to get their act together. 
Operating in the red zone here on second down. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll try to run for it. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. Touchdown, Cougars! And that one will give them the lead. And how about this offense, man? They knew they needed to execute. Great play calling, great drive, put it together. Now you got a chance to go up by seven late in this ball game, and then let your defense go on the field and seal it for you. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They'll need to be very sound here, limit this return, and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Looking for a man. It's Stone. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. The pass attempt falls incomplete. Brings up second down. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Looking to pass on second down. He's taking a deep shot. Throw to the end zone. Picked off. 